And this is where I think, I hope, we're gonna see some changes. And looking over the fence, oh my God, yes, it has happened. Look at this, guys, the Sleeper Express is back. Yo, what is going on, guys? My name is Jack Silkstone. Oh yes, I am once again back here at the Fort Park Resort. Now, I know that I literally filmed a Monk's Walk update a few days ago, so don't worry, I'm not gonna bore you guys and just show you all of that same stuff again. I am here for a reason. And that is because I believe there's been a very interesting and exciting update that has taken place down Monk's Walk, which I'm gonna go and check out today. Now for the past few days, I've been sat at my desk for so many hours, just working on my new merch launch, which is happening on January the 30th. But I thought today I would do the extended version of Monk Talk and literally walk around the entire Fort Park property, just so I get a chance to stretch my legs, get some fresh air and try and clear my mind a little bit. So yeah, I'm actually really excited today. I'm gonna head first of all over to Fort Farm and talk about that a little bit with you guys. Um, and then I'm quickly gonna head down Monk's Walk. I'm mainly just gonna beeline to this exciting new development. And then yeah, I'll eventually wrap round back to the amazing view of Fort Park. I'm gonna go and start my long old walk over to Fort Farm. Let's go. So I've now arrived here at Fort Farm, which as the name suggests, used to be a farm located here at Fort Park. Guests could come over here via the Canada Creek Railway, obviously located in Old Town. The station for it is now being demolished for um, Project Exodus. Um, so yeah, you used to be able to get the train, come over to the farm and see the animals in the area and just kind of experience the farm. However, as the years went on, Fort Park obviously invested more and more in the rides and attractions in the actual theme park. And that led to a dwindling attendance here at the farm, which led to its closure in 2006. And yeah, ever since then, the farm's just kind of sat here as a place for storage and stuff. This is only one of the areas of the farm. I'm gonna head just slightly down the road where you get a better view of the main farm itself. But yeah, nowadays it's just kind of stood here um, storing old props and ride vehicles from the park. See, so yeah, as I said, I'm gonna head just down the road now um, to a slightly better view of the farm. So that right there was kind of like the main hub of Fort Farm where there's a little pond and you've got some of the bigger barns around it. Now, as I said, nowadays, the farm is just kind of used as a storage area. If the park aren't using any props or old rides that they've taken out, um, they might just put those over at the farm and they're just kind of left over there um, in storage in case they ever need them again. Now, I was actually lucky enough to go over to Fort Farm quite a few times um, during last year's season. The first time we went over there was to film um, my Big Top documentary because as you saw from the footage I just got, the old Big Top clown face Carlos the Clown as we like to call him, is actually stored over at the farm. So when I was filming the documentary, I took all of the old creators of the Big Top over there and we had a really nice day just kind of filming and reminiscing on the old Fright Nights times. Um, and then yeah, talking of Fright Nights, myself and Kieran went over there many times when we were working on the Fright Nights teasers for the 20 Years of Fear event last year. And yeah, we filmed loads over there just because it's such a good location. It looks quite derelict over there. And obviously the noise is a lot lower than it is over at the park where you've got loads of screaming and rides going around. It really affects the audio when you're trying to film. But yeah, talking of all of that Fright Nights filming, we actually filmed a behind the scenes video of the entire process. There's so much behind the scenes footage in there. And I'm looking to release that within the next few weeks. So be sure to subscribe and keep Keep an eye out for that video. I'm so excited to release it and show you guys a little bit of the process as to how me and Kieran worked on all of those Fright Nights videos. So yeah, that's Fort Farm. Unfortunately, there's not really a whole lot you can see from the outside, but it's just a really, really interesting area that I'm sure a lot of people don't even know exist 
it's essentially connected to the main Fort Park Resort via this um, little service road, which is actually really long. It's quite a distance from the actual Fort Park Resort. Fort Farm's right over there, and the actual park is right down there. In fact, we've got a car going down the service road there, a little security vehicle. So yeah, at this point, I'm just gonna continue down Monk's Walk, where we'll eventually obviously run parallel with the park. As I said, I'm not gonna talk about all of the things that I talked about in the last video. I'm mainly just heading towards one particular old Fright Nights maze. So unfortunately there are no rides testing today. I've always got a little glimmer of hope that I'll be able to capture all of the rides testing, but it's probably still a little bit early um, before we see a lot of the rides here at the park testing. They're still undergoing their winter maintenance programs. But yeah, whilst we're talking of rides here at the park, I actually noticed something on Twitter the other day that I'd completely missed somehow. Um, someone tweeted at Fort Park asking if there's any new rides 2022 i mean it's a fair enough question if you don't ask you don't get told and uh fort park actually replied saying we have something in the pipeline coming soon and this is from the official fort park account and everything so yeah it seems like they've got some kind of news and something in the pipeline as they say coming soon so yeah i'll keep you guys updated if we get any more information about that but yeah, I'm currently just walking down um, adjacent to um, trailers now, slowly making my way down towards Old Town. I've just made my way past Old Town and have walked down the route of Platform 15 and I'm now approaching the area of platform where the Sleeper Express is located and this is where I think, I hope, we're going to see some changes and looking over the fence, oh my god yes it has happened, look at this guys, the Sleeper Express is back, <laughs> it's no longer laying down it has been put upright once more. There it is. So yeah, there we go. Once again, the Sleeper Express is upright. It's no longer laying on the ground. For those of you that are a bit confused as to what's going on, back in Fright Nights 2020, the front carriage of the Sleeper Express was kind of pushed over when Platform 15 was reversed that year. Um, and ever since it's remained, literally right up until I presume the past few days, because when I filmed my last video, that carriage was of course laying down and there were staff members in the area um, taking down some of the speakers and stuff and like lighting that was left from Platform. And now, as you can see, the Sleeper Express has returned to its upright position. It's so crazy because back a few years ago, I filmed myself and Kieran's first reaction to seeing that train being like toppled over. Am I, is the carriage gone? Nah. Uh, is it not? Oh, at the front? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, mate. It's gone? There's oh no, my God. Oh, it actually is gone. Oh my oh, God. Nice. It's gone. Oh, it's lying down. <laughs> Down on the floor. Oh my god. <laughs> so <laughs> and now you're obviously getting my reaction to seeing it back upright. It really is cool to see, isn't it? Like it's a beautiful uh, engine. And yeah, it's, it's back upright. Now, obviously, in my previous Monk Talk video, I was discussing the fact that I don't have a clue what they're going to do with these trains. But the fact that that carriage has now been pushed upright suggests that they do have a plan because they wouldn't have just done that for no reason. Like, I imagine that was quite a job to get that back up. As I said, they're very, very heavy. So yeah, to me, it seems like they've got an idea as to what they're going to do with these. Whether if they're going to um, move them back into this railway shed, I don't even know if there's space back there anymore or if they're somehow gonna move them off park. Who knows, they might even end up over at Fort Farm. But yeah, it's certainly a very, very interesting development. And as I said, that would have literally happened within the past few days.
So I've now made my way around to the beautiful view across the lake of Fort Park. It's surprising just how long it actually takes you to walk around the entire Fort Park property. It took me around about an hour to do the whole thing and it really made me think like a lot of people are worried as for the amount of space that Fort Park have with it obviously being an island. They worry that they won't have space in the future for more developments. However, walking around it is surprising just how much room the park has and yeah it just makes you realize that there isn't really a need to be worried about the long-term future of fort park because there is just so much space what is that can anyone else see that big blue light in the sky am i seeing things again guys i don't know um but yeah there's really no need to worry about space here at fort park there is a lot of it even if the park have to figure out a way of getting guests over to the farm again i've always said that i would love to see a like fright night style attraction over at the farm uh, myself and kieran have come up with so many cool plans as to what they could do over there i'd love to see it happen one day who knows but yeah there we go guys that is another video here from the fort park obviously the main event today was seeing the platform 15 train return to its original position so yeah that was very cool but yeah thank you again so much to everyone for watching my name has been jack silkstone goodbye